Here's a quick look at what's in the February 2014 edition of Sound on Sound, the world's best recording technology magazine. Available in newsagents, on our website at soundonsound.com, or by downloading the Sound on Sound app. Available for iPad, Kindle Fire, and selected Android tablets. In our cover feature this month, we examine the assertion of mastering engineer Bob Katz that the loudness wars are over. With the recent adoption by audio and broadcast industries of a new standard measure of loudness, could the practice of competitive loudness processing be a thing of the past? We take an in-depth look at the issue and consider the implications for those who make, mix and master music. We get our grubby mitts on Arturia's tiny and terribly affordable analog synth, the Micro Brute. It might be the little brother of the company's popular Mini Brute synth, but it still has some tricks of its own, like a miniature patch bay for modulation routing and a step sequencer. Find out how it compares in our review. Steinberg have packed a lot of new functionality into Cubase 7.5. Among the new functions are track versions, a tab to transient feature similar to Pro Tools, and new instruments and effects. Steinberg are calling it one of the most beneficial updates since SX1, but does our Cubase expert agree? Sherps know a thing or two about small diaphragm condenser mics, and when their engineers designed the V4U, they aimed to combine the technical advantages of a small diaphragm capsule with the sonic character of a large diaphragm design. We put the V4U, the first studio vocal microphone from Sherps, to the test. If your budget doesn't quite stretch that far though, we've also got you covered with a review of Rode's amazingly affordable pair of M5 small diaphragm capacitor mics. We bring you a review of Behringer's X32 rack and core digital mixers. They have the same engine as their larger siblings, with iPad or computer remote control capabilities, but they lose their hardware faders to save space and cost. We discover how they compare to the rest of the X32 range. The virtual drum instrument BFD2 was always going to be a hard one to top, but that certainly hasn't stopped F Expansion from trying. With their new BFD3 instrument, have they succeeded? The 8-step program is an analog expression and CV sequencer from Electro Harmonics, and it looks equally useful for analog synth lovers and guitarists. We uncover what this little sequencer is really capable of. We've got some great features this month too. In an introduction to cyber performance, experimental musician Jordan Rain shows you how to harness the power of streaming technology and virtual reality to connect with a global audience without leaving the comfort of your own home. We also examine Jake Bug's UK number one debut album in our Inside Track feature. We talk to mix engineer Billy Bush, who reveals how he preserved the minimalist feel of Rick Rubin's production while giving the record a modern sound. You can read all this and much more in the February 2014 edition of Sound on Sound, the world's best recording technology magazine. Available in newsagents, on our website at soundonsound.com, or by downloading the Sound on Sound app. Available for iPad, Kindle Fire, and selected Android tablets. Thanks for watching.